over the last few years we have seen a mighty move of the lord amongst us we have seen thousands of people come to the lord we have seen lives converted we have seen hearts healed marriages brought together people's lives transformed healings take place and we have seen the manifestation of the holy spirit all this was possible by one little thing that the lord gave us so many years ago it was the leading to have a retreat by the name of the four steps the four steps means the four steps that are mentioned in the first sermon of peter as he preaches the gospel in the acts of the apostles and when we preach these four steps people's lives began to be touched by the power of god this recording is an attempt to bring the experience of the four steps as a prayer experience into the lives of people so that they may touch the power of god even as they enter into worship singing and prayer together with us and we start today by inviting you to come all who are thirsty to come to the lord those of us who are weak those of us who are helpless those of us who are powerless those who don't have an answer to their lives needs to all of us the lord invites all who are thirsty all who have a need come and drink from me and find the answer to your life so let's lift up our hearts to the lord and sing out all who are thirsty
our hearts and take us on this journey into the heart of God. Often, the journey into the heart of God has been mentioned as a climbing of the mountain. Moses climbed the mountain into the presence of God. Jesus climbed the mountain into the presence of God. Elijah climbed the mountain to the presence of God. And in the same way, we are invited to climb the mountain into the heart of God. And we climb this mountain with the beautiful words of this song where we say, take me from the city to the mountain. The city denotes the level fields in which we are caught up in the day-to-day living. Take me from my confusion to your peace. And most of the time caught up in this situation, we are confused. But when we go to the heart of God, we find his peace. Take me from my vision to your glory. Then we are taken from our understanding to God's glorious plan for us. Take me from the river to the sea. Then we begin to see that our little, little plans of life are like little rivulets with no meaning, with no strength, with no depth compared to the great ocean of God's glorious plan for us. And in that sense, we lift our voices to the Lord and say, take me higher, Lord. Take me, help me climb higher on this mountain. From these limited feelings about myself, take me into your presence. Take me to the clouds so that I may see.
Lord, I remember the first step of the four steps. You tell me, come as you are. I love you. So I want to come to you, but often I can't come to you because I feel so sinful and so weak. But you tell me, come as you are. And I come to you today as I am. And you tell me, there is a lot of pain, yes, in your life. But I can give you much more healing. There is a lot of trouble, but I can give you much more peace. There is a lot of hate, yes, hate within me and hate from other people. But the Lord says, I can give you more loving. There's a lot of sin, but I can give you more grace. We're going to join in that beautiful hymn, Outrageous Grace. One day a person asked me, why do you say grace is outrageous? The word outrageous means something unbelievable, something that's beyond our comprehension, that shocks us. And that's exactly what grace is. Grace that comes looking for the person who is most unworthy. Grace that comes to the most undeserved and comes and fills our hearts and changes us from nothing, from sinfulness into the holiness of God. There's a lot of pain But a lot more healing There's a lot of trouble But a lot more peace There's a lot of hate But a lot more love There's a lot of sin But a lot more grace There's a lot of pain But a lot more healing There's a lot of trouble But a lot more peace There's a lot of hate But a lot more love There's a lot of sin But a lot more grace There's a lot of darkness 
but a lot more light There's a lot of cloud But a lot more vision There's a lot of perishing But a lot more life There's a lot of fear But a lot more freedom There's a lot of darkness But a lot more light There's a lot of cloud But a lot more vision There's a lot of perishing But a lot more life Oh, how gracious grace Oh, how gracious grace Love unfurled by Come into the presence of the Lord. The second step says, Give the truth of your heart to the Lord. And we give Him the truth because He can take our darkness and transform it into light. He can take our sin and transform it into holiness. He can take our broken lives and make us transformed into His image. And that's why we give Him the truth. We don't hold anything back. We accept the truth about our lives. And then we come to that third step where we are invited by the Lord, surrender your life to me. Lord, my life broken, wounded, caught up, messed up. I want to give you that life. And when I surrender my life to you, Lord, I learned that a mysterious transformation takes place. Not that when I give you my mind, my mind is somehow touched by your mind and becomes a part of your mind and your beautifully perfect thoughts flow through my mind. When I give you my emotions and my feelings, unbalanced, damaged by the years of living, by the events that have happened when I give it to you. It will be touched and transformed by your emotions and I will have your perfectly balanced emotions. The emotions of love, compassion, care, perfect balance like cool, clear running waters flowing through my being. When I give you my body, when I give you my body, it becomes one with your recent body. Lord, I believe that my heart begins to beat in synchronization with your heart. And suddenly your blood is flowing through my being. Lord, I feel your strength in me. I feel your presence. Lord, when I give you my spirit, 
the spirit that I received from the father when he, the father placed me in my mother's womb I surrender it into your hands and I feel the Holy Spirit now blowing through me moving through me touching the innermost depths of my heart Lord when I breathe it is you that I breathe when I close my eyes it's you that I see when I open my eyes it is you that I see you are the air that I breathe you are the presence living in me Lord you feed me this is my daily bread you feed me with your presence you feed me with your word you feed me with the Eucharist so that your presence is changing everything in my life and I'm becoming like you by your grace Lord you are the air that I breathe
We thank you for loving us. We thank you, Lord. We live within your heart. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We praise you for that love. We thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, I'm lost within you. And your powerful presence. Lord, we flow into the fourth step. For you promised us that when we surrender our lives to you, you will anoint us. You will anoint us to live in a new way. You will anoint us to minister in a new way. To speak words with the power of the Spirit. To see with the eyes of the Spirit. To touch with the touch of the Spirit. So that it's your presence that we take. And wherever we go, in whatever the situation, your presence will move through us into this environment it will heal the broken heart it will open the eyes of the blind it will create new sight it will create new direction Lord we pray for that anointing to touch our world to transform the environment in which we live we need your spirit Lord Jesus we need your spirit to pray we need your spirit to stay we need your spirit morning noon and night.
Holy Spirit, come and fill our hearts. Let's lift our voices to the Lord and ask the Lord to fill us with His Holy Spirit in a special way. Yes, Lord, we ask you, Lord, come and fill our lives, Lord. We have come before you as we are. Yes, Lord, we have given you the truth of our hearts and we have surrendered our lives to you, Lord, to be filled with your presence. So empower us, Lord. Empower us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Empower us with your love. Empower us with the anointing. Empower us with your leading. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the leading. Thank you, Lord. We believe, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is already moving in our hearts, already touching us, already freeing us, already empowering us, our Lord, already taking away the darkness, taking away the uncertainty, taking away the fears. We thank you for the power. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the light. We thank you for the life, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord. My brothers and sisters, when we are surrendered to the Lord and we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit takes us to the very heart of God, to the heart of Jesus, to the sanctuary of the Father. We travel there in the Spirit. And as we go there, we are given the opportunity of gazing into the holiness of our God. Like Moses was given the opportunity on the mountain of Sinai. We are given the opportunity of seeing the loveliness of our God, the majesty of Jesus, the greatness of his love. And when our hearts are caught up in the rapture of the presence of God, the things that surround us become shadows in the light of Him. For many years, my pride was number one. What other people thought of me was number one. What I had was number one. Winning was number one. Working, making money was number one. But now we begin to see that number one is truly, truly to gaze into your holiness. I remember a person who called me a few days after listening to this hymn and he told me, you know, I have been fighting this case, this divorce case with my wife and I was fighting for my children. It was very bitter. But that day as I was listening to this hymn and I was singing it, suddenly I remember Suddenly I realized, winning this case, having won over my wife, was merely shadows in the light of you. And he told me, I decided, I'm not going to fight her. I'm going to find a way to make peace with her. Yes, the things of this earth, what was important, becomes changed in the light of you. So take us, Lord. 
when we find the joy of reaching your heart and when my heart and my will becomes enthralled in your love lord then i want to do your will not as a duty not as something that i am forced to do out of my religious commitment but it's my love for you your love captures my heart and i want to serve you i want to love you i want to worship you i want to give my life to you the rest of my life into your will lord i worship you i worship you with my whole being
hearts in the worship of your name. We lift our being, we lift our innermost depths to worship you, Lord. We know your power, we feel it in our lives, we see anointing in our lives, we thank you. We thank you for the power as it flows through our being. We live to worship you. We live to be moved by your spirit. We live to be anointed by your heart, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for your heart. We thank you for your love. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to thy name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for touching us as we pray. We thank you, Lord. We praise you for your touch. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your leading. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise your Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Deeply in the presence of the Lord. Anointed. Worshipping the Lord. Let us bring this time of praise and worship to an end. By singing this beautiful hymn. Above all. Above all powers above all kings above all nature and all created things above all wisdom and all the ways of man you were here before the world began lord you were here you were the ruler and everything belonged to you above all kingdoms above all thrones above all wonders the world has ever known Above all the wealth and treasures of the earth, there is no way to measure what you are worth. Lord, you are so valuable. You are the most valuable being in the entire universe. Saying all this, we say in this hymn, Crucified, laid behind a stone. You allowed yourself to be crucified by your own creation and laid behind a stone. You lived to die, rejected and alone. Yes, when you came to the earth, you made that choice to live and to die. You live for that purpose, to be rejected and alone. Why, Lord? Why did you do that? Like a rose trampled on the ground, a beautiful, fragrant rose trampled on the ground, and when you were disfigured, handled, put to death by crucifixion, the aroma of your innermost being arose to circle the universe. It was love. It was forgiveness. It was mercy. It was transformation from the whole of the universe. And that's why we sing as a final verse. You took the fall and thought of me above all. Lord, it's your personal love for each one of us. And the Gospel of John says, faith is to believe in you, to believe in that love. And sin is not to believe. Lord, when we don't believe in this love that made such a commitment, that made such a sacrifice, we commit sin. But when we believe in this personal love that you have for each one of us, and we accept it deep in our hearts, it becomes the power that changes everything. Lord, we want to appreciate you, value you with these words as we sing. This world has ever known 
above all wealth and treasures of the earth. There's no way to measure but your for the anointing. We thank you, Lord. We believe that you have touched our hearts as we open our lives to you, as we led through this time. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to thy name. We praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to thy name. thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity you gave us to bring ourselves into your presence, to speak to you, to open our hearts to you, to sing these hymns and to allow you to take us into the mountain. Lord, we pray for everyone who listens to this recording. We pray that supernatural power will reach out into their lives. We pray, Lord, that you will break through any darkness, any depression, any hopelessness that is in the hearts of these people. Lord, we pray that those who have no recourse and no answers to the needs of their life, we pray that you will perform a miracle just now and your power will rest on them. Lord, those who are sick, those who have been down, Lord, we pray that your healing power will reach into their hearts right at this moment, Lord. 
Lord, those who have come with relationship problems, those who have no way of really healing their families, we pray that your mighty anointing will rest in their lives and your powerful presence will be upon them. Lord, we pray for miracles. Lord, we pray, Lord, for people with weakness, with sickness, with addiction. Lord, we pray that you will break the power of addiction, Lord, that you will break the powers of weakness, O God, and your holy power will rest on them and your great anointing will be on them. Lord, we know that you are touching them. Lord, we know that you are healing them. Lord, we know that you are transforming them. And because you do that, Lord, we want to praise you, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you, Lord.